So hello everyone. Today we have a special guest with us. We have Adarsh on our channel. So Adarsh, would you like to introduce yourself? Uh, so my name is Adarsh Pandey, and uh, I just passed out of college. I joined Zscaler a couple of months back as an intern, and uh, hopefully I will get converted uh, to a full-time employee by the end of August or September, I think. Mm. Yeah, great man. So he's here to talk about his interview experience with Zscaler, and you know how he ended up cracking it. So over to you, Adarsh. Tell us everything. What all happened in the interviews? How was it? Okay, so uh, it was like a typical software engineering role interview. So the first round was the coding round. We received three or four mm-hmm. questions. So uh, unlike a lot of companies which ask only DSA, uh, this company also asked. Uh, like I was uh, being hired for Java role, so I was asked uh, mm-hmm. DSA, uh, Java fundamentals. Mm-hmm. like uh, core java and uh, like object oriented programming in depth okay so mm-hmm. one question was from dsa one was from synchronization which a lot of people including mm, oh. uh skip so <laughs> but as i yeah. uh, answered the other questions i got selected in that round okay so then it was two interviews uh, both of the rounds had uh, one question from dsa a general discussion about projects and uh, other work which i have done in college and uh, mm-hmm. yeah some of the guys like some of my friends they also uh, had three rounds of interviews but uh, i had only two okay. and uh, yeah some of like two or three guys from my college were selected mm-hmm. so it's basically like first you had a online coding assistant yeah. and then uh, two technical interviews after that Correct. right So, in the technical interviews, what was the level of DSA you would feel relating it to a website like LeetCode? How was the difficulty? Uh, I would say it was a medium level. I think a medium mm-hmm. to hard level would say uh, would would be uh, best to like prepare for mm-hmm. the worst so you can perform the best. <laughs> uh, yeah, that is what I'd like to say. Hmm. Correct. 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 Did you do you remember any of the topics that were there? Were any hot topics that the scaler asks? Uh, I would say like, unlike most companies, it asks uh, core Java, uh, like the object-oriented mm-hmm. programming in depth. There was one question related to that, and uh, mm-hmm. uh, that uh, synchronization. Okay. And other mm-hmm. than that, I'd say like uh, <coughs> go with uh, like medium medium level questions would be enough. But uh, also do the hard level questions. That is all. Mm-hmm. Correct, correct, correct. So, what was the preparation strategy like for your general placements as these killer? How did you prepare, and what all did you do? Uh, so, I <laughs> I didn't prepare for these killer as such. I <laughs> yeah. Prepared for everything. I actually started uh, coding like DSA <coughs> and stuff from first second year. So, but. I stopped DSA because nobody likes to do DSA. I went to went with <laughs> development, uh, made uh, projects in different technologies like uh, React, Node.js, and all those hot topics. So hmm. made projects in them. Then again came back to DSA in like third or fourth year because no company gives placement without DSA. So hmm. this is the overall uh, preparation strategy. And uh, if someone is preparing for Zscaler, then I'd say uh, prepare core subjects like OS, DBMS, and computer networks as well. And uh, what about DSA? Like, did you have any preparation strategy for DSA? Like, how to increase or improve your problem-solving skills? How did you manage that? Uh, to like, to <laughs> for DSA, there is one simple solution: follow any sheet with 300, 400 problems, and uh, like. Go for the easy and medium level questions first. Uh, they will uh, make your foundation very strong, and then go with hard level if you have time. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Understood, understood. And uh, a resource to mention here is also Adarsh YouTube channel. He also has a YouTube channel where he like creates content related to coding. So yeah. definitely you can, you guys can follow him out. I'll give a link in the description. Sure. So Adarsh for. All the freshers who are, let's say, graduating in 2024 or graduating next year, and want to crack a company like you know Zscaler or a similar company, what advice would you be giving them? You know, so that they can also crack a company like that. 
uh like and advice would be to don't think what to do just start doing uh, prepare dsa first then uh, i was hired for java so i can help you with java and uh, my company also hires for c developers so you can prepare that uh, also so prepare that prepare core subjects and a bit of like those aptitude and trick questions which companies ask uh, that would be enough for mm. pretty much any company Hmm. Right, right, right. It will not only help in the particular case of Zscaler, but also in many other companies along with that. Right? Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Great. 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 Okay. So I guess that covers pretty much everything about Zscaler's interview experience. If any of you still have any doubt about Zscaler's interview experience or others' journey, then you can reach out to him on LinkedIn. I've given a link to his LinkedIn in the description. You can follow him from there. Reach out to him, and his link to his channel will also be there. Do check it out. So again, thanks a lot, Adarsh, for coming thank on the channel, sharing your experience. Yeah. So thank you. Okay.